So we're here at McLaren Dallas today. Um, I told you guys I'd have a big announcement coming up soon. Um, if, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year was the first year that Park Place did the um, Supercar Showcase at the Four Seasons in Las Colinas. This year it's going to be huge. I've been talking with um, all the Park Place dealers and a lot of people involved with the event. And today we're at McLaren Dallas and I'm talking to Tony Joseph. The President of McLaren North America. Kind of a pretty important title. Um, we're going to look at some of the cars they've got here today. Um, I want to talk about some of the involvement with McLaren and with the event and what cars are going to be there. I know um, something special going to be released. Yeah, it's so cool. last year being the first year that, they, that Park Place did the event, it was a phenomenal event and it has a lot of potential to continue to grow mm -hmm. as one of the major events here in the country in the next few years. So um, we're supporting it this year by bringing um, a, a couple uh, unique cars. Uh, we're bringing the McLaren Senna. Which I think people are all extremely excited about. Yeah. And it's my a, favorite racer. It's a phenomenal car. It's, a, uh, a, it's an extremely track-focused, street-legal car. So if you haven't had an opportunity to see it... This, Which is anyone's it, dream. If you drive a fast car, that's, I mean, you, you can make a track-only car street-legal, but yeah. it's fun when it comes that way. And <laughs> due to the very limited production of this car, this may be an opportunity for some to see it that would normally get to see this type of car. So uh, that alone is a reason to attend the event. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, we're showing the 600 LT, and it's the first time the 600 LT will be shown in, in Texas. Oh, I didn't know um, that. We haven't, uh, uh, the car hasn't come to market yet, um, but this will be the first time that the car is um, shown as a pre-production car, um, and you'll have the opportunity to see that there as well. And then third, and, um, and, and very unique, is a um, Lego car. So, um, the... so I've heard a little bit about this online, but I was going to wait to see if um, you brought that up to explain yeah. it. So I had an opportunity to see this car last year. It's a 720 um, life size that's uh, built with Legos. And it's a, um, it, it's, um, so it's very unique to see. Well, that's pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited that you guys have brought this to Dallas, or because I mean, everyone we go to Pebble Beach yeah. every year, so and I think everyone agrees that Dallas is a hot spot for cars, yeah. and I mean, center of the country, and everyone here owns cool cars. But this is the first time that that people are genuinely getting to like have a, a serious event to appreciate. Yeah, I mean, Dallas itself is a much bigger car market, I think, than what people realize. Yeah, um, it was one of our initial nine dealers when we launched in the US and it was in the top three the first year and it was the number one dealer globally the second year um, in terms of sales. Now at, at that point we were a relatively small company still and didn't have a lot of dealers spread throughout the world but they were the number one dealer from a volume standpoint the second well, year. I know a couple people in the city that love your cars and appreciate your cars and I yeah I didn't realize it was in, like, in the top nine. Yeah. Um, so when, when I walked in here earlier I heard a little bit about your history with the McLaren when you came on. Just how many years ago? I came in on June 2009, and okay. at that time, we, we actually didn't even have a completed car at that stage. We didn't have anything. Um, and, and my role in coming on was to help build the uh, North American arm. Was that uh, nerve wracking or were you excited? <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> okay, it. all right, that's good. Um, I, I've been in this segment for quite a few years, and, um, and you see the good and you see the bad. And so, yeah. what this did is it gave me the opportunity or gave us the opportunity to have a kind of a clean sheet of paper and kind of um, uh, be able to focus on some of the things that work well and kind of move out some of the things that didn't necessarily work yeah. out well. So I think we've got a phenomenal deal in that work. We've got a phenomenal team, uh, both here and in the UK, and we've got a phenomenal uh, company overall. So we're walking around the McLaren Dallas dealership and um, we were talking a little bit about when McLaren started that idea of there's three models three car models. well when we first started we had only one model one car one model. Uh, um so it, it's a little difficult um to launch a car company with only one car mm -hmm. well today now we've got three models and several several variants within those models so we've got the sports series segment we've got the super series segment and then we've got the ultimate series um, this car here is in the sports series segment it is a uh, 570s spider um, within that segment, we've got a coupe version, we've got a GT version, and then soon to be released the LT version, the 600 LT. So, and you can have What's an opportunity. What's different about the LT? Uh, the LT is going to be a more performance oriented car. It'll be limited in terms of production. It'll be lighter, and yeah. it'll be quicker. Lighter, That's quicker, easy. better aerodynamics. That's awesome. And this is this is a car in our super series segment, the 720s. This I mean, is what everyone, yeah. This everyone is what everyone sees. Yeah. The orange McLaren, the 720S. <laughs> my father said that's one of the fast, if not the fastest car he's driven, like factory car without any tuning, anything. And it, it's a phenomenal car in, in every in every aspect. 
Um, this is the first second generation car we've ever made because um, the 12C and 650 were on this platform. And so this is the second generation, um, the 720 um, when we launched it. Um, and uh, it, this car has been in extremely high demand since launch. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a. Um, I know it, it's always an attraction at any like at cars any and coffee car event, event or yeah, yeah anything. Yeah. So it's um, it, it, you can have the opportunity to drive this car as well, and it's a. Um, um, I think I might take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs>